this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine and in today's episode we will be talking about Elon Musk's Neuralink. Elon Musk and his handful of highly skilled Neuralink team have reached another milestone in their ambitious journey to discover the mysteries of the brain. On August 28th, last Friday, he introduced the world to a sleek lightweight brain implant called the Link. which has the potential to direct civilization towards a pain-free super intelligent future. Let's see what does it look like. Sized at 23 mm by 8 mm, the link has 1024 channels which will be surgically connected to the neurons with the help of a surgical robot. These electrodes are made of non-corrosive material, probably silicon carbide whose diameter is 5 micron, 1 by 20th of a human hair strand. The most important function of this implant is the ability to read and write. Read indicates grasping the signals from the neurons and write indicates generating electric impulse that can activate the neurons to perform targeted action. Or like Elon Musk himself mentioned, it's like a Fitbit in your skull. with tiny wires another important feature to know is that the coin shaped implant can be charged contactlessly this device operates similar to typical bluetooth devices that exist today users can connect their smartphones to the link and have full knowledge of their brain activity and can decide which parts of the brain should be activated moving on let's talk about the three picks and the chip in the live demo on friday musk introduced three picks to the audience named joyce Dorothy and Gertrude these three high energy creatures had a significant difference Joyce never had a neural implant Dorothy the pig that formerly had a neural implant was later removed and Gertrude the pig implanted with link Musk pointed out how these three pigs behave normally despite two of these creatures having undergone surgery Talking about the choice of animal, one of the team members said that the many properties such as skull thickness and volume of brain are closer to that of humans. Moreover, he also mentioned that it's easier to keep pigs happy as all they want to do is eat. A video was shown where one of the pigs with implant and limb sensors was made to walk on a treadmill. The team then traced the limb functions to the brain activity read by the link. The results show a great consistency between the predicted and actual outputs. Moving on, let's take a look at some of its applications. From depression to paralysis, Neuralink promises to provide solutions that can restore lost functionalities in the patient. Musk along with his team also spoke about different kind of ailments that can be cured with the help of Neuralink. saying that almost everyone has neurological problems over time so we need a generalized brain device that is reliable and affordable moving on let's talk about the cost how much would it cost for a patient to get the link throughout the presentation musk flaunted a surgical robot this robot will be taking care of the whole process of mounting the implant and according to musk it would take only an hour to get the implant and be back home He also added that the whole surgery can be done without the need for general anesthesia. Though Musk did not have an actual number on his mind, considering the cost of robotic surgery and the implant, Musk is positive that the customers can avail this device for a price similar to that of LASIK surgeries. Moving on, when will the link be publicly available? Last year, Musk promised that we would be seeing the first version of the product in 2020. But we all know that 2020 didn't go as planned for most of us. We would also have to wait for a while before finding the link in the nearest stores. That said, one major update by Musk is the approval from FDA. Musk announced that their experiments so far were being done in compliance with the FDA. Moving on, so what does the future hold? Musk also mentioned that we can save and replay memories. The future is going to be weird. Musk elaborates, but yeah, essentially if you have a whole brain interface, everything that's encoded in memory, you could upload, you could basically store your memories as a backup and restore the memories, then ultimately you could potentially download them into a new body or into a robot body. The future is going to be a weird one. During the Q&A session at the event, Musk was asked regarding the few interesting applications of the link, and he replied with telepathy, memory repositories, and superhuman vision. 
please find the link to the article in the description box below and with that we come to the end of this video don't forget to subscribe to analytics india magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career see you soon bye